Okay. My name is Zach Garski, and then I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, but I was born in Taiwan. Obviously, General Ho saved me yeah. from everything. And now I'm here in L at L.A., and now I live in Los Angeles. And then my girlfriend that I'm with, we've been together for seven years. She's going to UCLA for med school. Yeah. So we have a bunch of stuff going on for us, which is fun. So did you connect Mayor Ho in this 10 years? Uh, so the last time I was back was when I was 10, and that's when I got to see him. Oh. So I haven't seen him for about 16 years. So, mm -hmm. so it's been a while. So that was the last time I got to see him. Is there any personality that you think that has to, is good like justice or? Say that one more time. Is Mayor Ho that something that maybe attract you or you think that you can distract him like justi justify? or something you can describe them? How to describe General? Yeah. Very strong, caring person. He's very for the people. He cares about community a lot. That's what I know from what I've met and what I've got to see. Why did you feel the need to come today? I heard through the media that he was coming, so I figured since I live in LA, San Francisco's a lot closer than Taiwan to try to reconnect, so I tr got in contact with some people that I knew, so then I tried to set up something. I know that he runs for KMT. I don't know too much about Chinese and Taiwanese politics too much, but that's what I do know. Will you support him? Of course. So yeah. is, is the best candidate you you think? I think so, from what I know, but I, I don't really know much about it, but I do support him fully. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be here without him. It's a... Uh, the first time I saw him, it felt similar too. It was very surreal, very surreal. Not sure really what to expect. What a, what am I supposed to say after not seeing this person for my entire life? Kind of thing. Especially that they saved your life. You don't get to really meet people like that. So it was very humbling to meet people that are that strong and that grateful. Say that one more time. Sorry about that. What would have happened to my life? Well, I probably would have been dead to be honest, legitimately. And so, if I wasn't, it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. Legitimately. Is it the same situation <laughs> that be before he is, is police and today he is, is the president of candidate and he changed the positions and do you think that he just going to save Taiwan people for always? I think he cares about the Taiwanese community extremely, and I think that community is extremely important. And you can see by everything that he's done while he was a police officer, how much he really does care about the community, how much he cleaned up the country, and like that didn't happen without him. So you can't really ignore that. Sure. You know.